What has the atmosphere been like there today? I mean, Nana, first of all, I absolutely love those stats. The Queen celebrating her Platinum Jubilee weekend. It's the first time ever we are celebrating in this country 70 years of service from our monarch. The crowds have been absolutely electric. There have been people camping out for days just to get a glimpse of the carriages uh, and the horses going past them on the mall towards Horse Guards to Parade for Trooping the Colour. So the 1st Battalion of the Irish Guards was the regiment who were trooping their colour at Horse Guards uh, Parade earlier today. That uh, The Royal Colonel of the 1st um, Battalion Irish Guards is Prince William. Prince Charles, Charles, the Prince of Wales, the Queen's son, took the Royal Salute on Her Majesty's behalf at Horse Guards. We know Her Majesty has had mobility issues and perhaps would have struggled slightly to get down to Horse Guards Parade. But also what's really interesting, Anna, is uh, Harry and Meghan were spotted uh, in the Major General's office watching that procession and that parade in the Horse Guards Parade, very much out of sight, so not, uh, not kind of attracting attention away from Her Majesty and her celebrations, but very much kind of worth noting. And actually what was really a lovely moment was uh, on the way two horse guards parades in the carriage uh, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis the uh, Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's youngest two children uh, were sat beside each other and Prince Louis he's only four years old was waving frantically at the crowds uh, was clearly very very excited and Charlotte very subtly kind of slapped his hand down as if to say uh, you're waving too um, frantically so uh, perhaps a bit of a advice from an, from an older sister there but then of course we had uh, Her Majesty uh, on the balcony at Buckingham Palace uh, to salute the troops as they came back to Buckingham Palace, accompanied by the Duke of Kent. Then she was joined by extended members and working members of the royal family on the balcony for the royal fly past. 70 aircraft uh, flew over Buckingham Palace, 70 years uh, of Her Majesty's reign. They're from the RAF, um, they're from the British Army and the Royal Navy as well. And again, Prince Louis perhaps slightly stole the show. He was putting his hands over his ears and kind of screaming as if to say it's uh, too loud. Um, but away from that, in the last couple of hours, Nana, we have heard uh, that Prince Andrew has tested positive for coronavirus. The Duke of York, of course, he was not on the balcony, but he was due uh, to attend a service of Thanksgiving at St Paul's Cathedral uh, tomorrow. He will no longer be doing that. It's understood he did actually see the Queen in the last couple of days, but uh, we've been told that he's kind of been testing regularly and uh, has not tested positive in the presence of the Queen. So we don't think there's any danger of Her Majesty uh, testing positive uh, again. But of course, it was a very controversial moment a couple of months ago where the Duke of Ca uh, for the Duke of Edinburgh's service of Thanksgiving back in back in March for his life, Prince Andrew escorted Her Majesty uh, down the aisle at Westminster Abbey and that was seen as very controversial and people were speculating whether or not he was going to do the same thing again tomorrow uh, at St Paul's Cathedral but clearly that's not going to be the case because uh, he is tested positive and will no longer be there. But tonight the Jubilee beacons are going to be lit, that is 3,000 beacons across the world up and down the United Kingdom uh, and across the globe in, in the 54 Commonwealth nations. The principal beacon is being lit here at Buckingham Palace uh, in the form of a tree of trees, which is just to my left. I'm not sure if you can see it uh, on camera, but that's happening tonight. And then we've got a whole weekend, bank holiday weekend of celebrations for Her Majesty's 70 years of service, Nana.